Oh, hey there. You're probably wondering, should I get the X2 S1, the X2 P2? Should I get, uh, you know, the M2 or one of the other uh, laser engravers? Well, I got an answer for you. I should probably go with the S1. But you're like, hey, if I get the S1, what should I get with it? Should I get the honeycomb? Should I get the 40 watt laser or the 20 watt laser? Should I get the rising base? I'm gonna give you an honest review and tell you the things I think you should get and the reason why you should get them. Hey, if you're like me, you kind of want to just get to the point and you want to know, what should I get? What should I get? So I'm gonna show you. Let's start with the 40 watt laser. If you're gonna get the laser, you should either get the 40 watt or get the 20 watt. The 40 watt just has a lot more power. You'll be able to cut a little bit quicker and deeper. And I highly recommend this. This is something that has been very useful. This is a laser I primarily use. This is the uh, my go-to for almost most of our materials. Honestly, I don't really have to take this one off very often because it does most of the things I need it to. Next, the honeycomb. The honeycomb makes this a quicker, more simple process. It also comes with the measurements along the side. And then for the rails that come with it, uh, you still get those. And they're useful every now and then, but you don't you don't really need those anymore. Uh, once you get this, I've used them one time since I've had this machine. The riser base. You absolutely want to get the riser base. I say that because this is where the machine would stop. And there's not as much space in there as you would think. Um, however, if you're just trying to do some basic cuts and stuff and just mess around, that's probably fine without the riser base. But for us, being able to have that is essential. Air assist. The air assist, I think, is one of the most essential pieces that you can get. I highly recommend it. What it does is it'll blow air through this tube in here, blows out this way onto the wood. So it does two things. It keeps those burn marks at a minimum, but it also pushes debris out, or uh, debris out, so that when it's lasering, the debris will get blown out and it can actually burn deeper, so you can get deeper cuts using the air assist. I highly recommend having it. It has been a world of difference also having that airflow through there can help keep your laser clean so now things I recommend not to get 2 watt IR laser I would not get this it's still good it's just not worth the money um, if you're planning on doing a lot of metal engraving you might as well get like a fiber laser this is just for base level like if you want to do bracelets or necklaces and I can be honest that hasn't been much of a seller hasn't been a focus for most people um so at least from our experience i'm not gonna pull it over because it's got a lot of parts to it but the next thing i mentioned not to get is the x tool conveyor uh for me I, I personally thought it would be able to do more but i have a few issues with it um one when you get the riser base and it goes through there's doors on both sides they sit open so if you actually are cutting it's going to blow the smoke out the smoke doesn't exactly get exhausted out as uh, well as it should, so you would want to definitely use that in a place that is, you know, able to get smoky. Um, otherwise, you just have a whole heap of smoke just inside your garage or wherever. The second reason for knocking the conveyor, and this is just for me, uh, for others it might be fine. The boards, you can only do maybe half an inch board pass through. So if I'm feeding a board, I can't do full size boards that I would use on like front doors for signs or anything like that. So that was kind of a bummer for me. It was kind of a disappointment, but um, hey, for you, it might be different. The rotary. I do recommend this. Now I don't use it a ton. I've used it a few times. However, this has been probably one of the best items that I've used. I have had very little issues with this. And then you have swappable attachments to put in different size cups or different items in here. But this thing has been very effective. It, it's simple, it runs on a belt. Uh, the only thing with this is that you need to make sure when you go into the settings, you put the right settings. Cause if you don't put the, the right uh, clamps on here when you go in there, it's gonna do it backwards or it's gonna do the wrong size. Um, but this itself, I highly recommend if you are doing cups, tumblers, anything round that you need to rotate around because this makes that process so much better. I know what you're thinking. That's it? No, we got one more thing that I need to show you. 
the screen printer. Should you get the screen printer? Well, that's personal preference. We bought this. It's actually really neat. I've enjoyed using this. I just highly recommend that if you get it, uh, get quite a few screens and get another frame to go with it because you're gonna want to be able to just swap these out really fast. Also, cleaning these things off can be a hassle. Do I recommend this one? This one's in the middle. This one is really honestly coming down to if you're actually gonna screen print or not. If you're gonna screen print, I absolutely recommend this. If you're gonna get it uh, thinking you're gonna screen print and then you realize you really don't screen print that much, eh, I mean, it's nice to have, but you might just waste some money on it. All right, so overall, do I recommend the X-Tool laser machine? Yes. The software you get with it, the ease of use, this machine has been straightforward, it's been simple. I think that you can do a lot with this machine. Um, pretty much some of the guys that I know that have the uh, the other machines that are a little bit bigger, CO2 machines and stuff, I can do pretty much everything they can um, with a few hacks and cheats, which like, for example, the glass. Like I said, watch the other video, but that one, that's one way to get around the diode laser that comes with the S1 versus the CO2 laser that comes with the uh, P2. Um, However, I do wish if I could go back that I had not bought all this bundle, just bought the things I needed and got the P2. The reason I say that is I would have had it, I would have had a bigger base to um, cut things in. I was going with this one because I thought the conveyor and some of those items I said, I don't really highly recommend would be beneficial and I'd be able to do more with that. Uh, but at the end of the day, I found out some of those expensive items that I could put that money towards the P2 for actually ended up uh, not being of much use for me. But just uh, keep some of those things in mind when you're buying this. Uh, maybe go with the P2 instead if you if you want the bigger base. Um, but if you're like me, this machine pretty much does everything you need to. I'm able to make different awards, plaques, and things like that for people. And yeah, I highly recommend this specific X tool machine for the price point. All right. If you have any other questions, comments, or you just kind of want to know something cool about the machine, or you want me to make a video, uh, just go ahead and tell me below. And uh, yeah, I'll make that happen. Maybe. <laughs>